I just got back from Singapore where I competed in the International Game Concept Challenge. The challenge asked us to think of an innovative new idea for VR, and we had less than two weeks to fully conceptualize and prototype our games. I was really fortunate, I got placed into an international team with two very talented artists and two very talented programmers. So Brian, Leah, Edmund and Yasuhiro were my team, and we were fortunate enough to actually win the competition, which was really fantastic. Our prototype is about a freelance artist, Woolly Mammoth, who has to paint increasingly difficult pictures in his or her line of work. Basically, in the game, you play as a woolly mammoth with the perspective of a woolly mammoth, you know, through the eyes of a woolly mammoth. And the only way that you can interact with the world around you is with your trunk. So you suck paint out of cans and spray them out onto the canvas to make your masterpieces. You can see uh, it's VR, I can look around, I've got my trunk here. The trunk itself is fully articulated, I can move it independently of my head. So that's a lot of fun, I actually can touch the world as a mammoth would touch the world. At the moment I'm just doing that with a Bluetooth controller, but on the Gear VR you can actually use the controls on the side of the headset itself, if that's what you're into. So you can see as I look around my environment, I've got a little plinth here with objects on it that I can paint portraits of. I've got paint cans on the side from which I'll be drawing my paint, and obviously the canvas itself onto which I can paint. I will, first of all, just grab some red paint and just spray it onto the canvas just so you get an idea of how a mammoth might actually paint. Um, you can see the splotches at the moment that I'm blowing out of my canvas, they're about a medium size. I can make them larger if I want to, just by coming up to the... I like to think of these as kind of like cups that you put on the end of your snout that either like narrow or broaden the beam of paint that you can spray out of there. Um, you'll notice obviously I've got the blue, the yellow and the red cans here. You're not actually limited to those three colours in the game, just like in the real world you can mix paint. So I could grab some red here, grab some yellow and then magic, I've got orange. So for those of you who aren't familiar with colour theory and mixing paint, we've got a little bit of a colour mixing chart cheat sheet here for you, um, but it's fun to just experiment and see what you get. So I could try and go for some green, just like that, just by mixing the yellow and the blue, I've got myself some green. And you may notice that there are actually paint splotches on the tusk of the woolly mammoth, and they change colour to indicate what colour of paint you actually currently have loaded into your uh, trunk. So at the moment they're on green, because I've got green. I could grab some purple if I wanted to, just get some red, get some blue, and then Boom, I'm spraying purple. <laughs> and what a masterpiece I'm creating here. It's really fun painting with your head. I, I, this is possibly the first VR game that lets you paint with your head. I haven't seen any others. I guess the head and the trunk combo we've got going on here. It's funny, the trunk is kind of like any tool when you start off with it. You're not very skilled, what you can create is a bit more crude. But the more you use it, the better you get at actually controlling it, and you can start to get some really, really amusing results. And I might try and make a purple sky. Get a little bit of ground going on here, maybe. Whoa. Wow. Get that horizon line rocking. Oh, that's beautiful, like a beautiful green <laughs> field. Like it's almost like a splashy ocean with a purple sky. Maybe I'll put a sun in the sky. Oh. Wow, this mammoth is talented. This is a talented mammoth that we've got on our hands here. Maybe what I could do is get a little bit more detail around the sun. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow, what an environment. So we've got a few ideas. Obviously this is just a prototype that we made in less than two weeks. We're very happy with what we managed to achieve in that time. But we have a lot of ideas for how the game could be improved and expanded upon. We've got a sort of scoring system in mind and we're thinking that better paintings according to this value system could be uh, given a higher monetary value and the more money you earn in your career as a painter or woolly mammoth the more you have to spend on accessories for your studio. 
perhaps you could get better colors to mix with, you could get more detailed color mixing charts, different nozzles for your um, snout so that you can paint uh, with different styles, etc, etc, more like customizations for your studio. We're also thinking it would be great to provide some kind of DLC of on-plane air painting locations so you can actually get out of the studio and do some more sort of interpretive painting of the environment that you find in front of you or just do freeform painting in beautiful environments, a kind of zen creative experience. It would also be great to have DLC of different sort of mammoth personalities. Maybe some mammoths are more inclined to paint like Jackson Pollock while others have the fine, like, detailed lines of somebody like Mondrian, or perhaps you could be a pointillist mammoth or something like that. Great, if you enjoyed that look at Masterpiece Mammoth, I encourage you to check out our other work. You can have a look at the other videos on this channel, I'll be putting a bit more information about the game on my website, and you can see other projects there as well, or I'll be, you can find me on Twitter, as always.